welcome to Android Guys in Brief, tech news worth knowing. My name is Matt Adams and today is Monday, September 17th, 2018. This is the tech news you need to know. The Google Pixel 3 may be coming in some new colors. We're still a few weeks away from the debut of the Google Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL, but we know pretty much everything about the devices through leaks. We expect to see two new devices with Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processors 4GB of RAM, and 64GB of storage. While most expect the devices to come in white and black, like previous generations, we're now getting some indications that the devices may come in two new colors, pink and mint. The speculation is based on new coming soon pages for the devices. Both of the pages seem to indicate that we'll see mint and pink alongside white and black. Google hasn't strayed too far outside the box with previous launches. We did see a blue version of the original Pixel and a Panda Pixel 2, but that's about it. Google is expected to announce its new phones alongside some other of its new products at an event in New York City on October 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern. Samsung is working on a mid-range phone with a flagship processor. The Samsung Galaxy A lineup has traditionally been a mid-range one, but it seems the Korean tech giant's future ambitions involve blurring the lines between its middle and flagship family of devices. A new leak coming out this week suggests the company is preparing a Galaxy A model that will run on the powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. Currently, only the premium Galaxy Note 9 and Galaxy S9 are based on Qualcomm's top-of-the-line chipset. The information comes from a leaker in China and has been relayed by Sam Mobile. It's not clear when the device will launch, but it most likely is not going to be in 2018. We expect the Samsung Galaxy A model will launch after the new Samsung Galaxy S10. The Samsung Galaxy S10 is expected to run Qualcomm's next generation premium chipset, the Snapdragon 855. This way, the new Galaxy A will be positioned lower than the new flagships. Google updates another of its apps. Google has steadily been updating its applications with a new theme. Some call this Material Design 2.0, but it's actually just Google using Material Design language and putting its own spin on it. We've seen the search giant freshen up several of its applications, most notably Android Messages. Now, Google is giving another one of its apps a fresh coat of paint. An updated version of the Calculator app is rolling out now and gives users some new visual tweaks. We see a new all-white number pad, a slide-out menu with a deeper shade of blue, and a new font. The zero and period button are also switching places. If you want the new update, just check out the Google Play Store now. Disney's Magic Kingdoms app goes under the sea. Disney's Magic Kingdoms has gotten a big update to include The Little Mermaid, one of their most beloved films. With this update, the park gains new characters including Ariel, Flounder, Sebastian, and Prince Eric. Players will have the challenge of defeating the evil witch Ursula with the power of me. It also includes eight new park enhancements to unlock and collect, along with the new side quests featuring characters Lilo and Stitch. You can grab the Disney Magic Kingdoms app from the Google Play Store. Xiaomi's Amazfit Verge is finally official. Humai, a Xiaomi sub-brand known for its affordable wearables, unveiled today a new smartwatch. It's called the Amazfit Verge and comes sporting a circular 1.3-inch AMOLED display with a 360 by 360 resolution. The intelligent timepiece packs in a lot of features including a heart rate sensor, GPS, NFC, and IP68 certification. What's more, users will be able to speak out commands directed towards their wrists thanks to the Xiao voice assistant that lives on board. We should note that the product does not run Wear OS but a proprietary OS, so app availability will be limited. The wearable goes up for sale today for approximately $115. So far, we don't have pricing or availability but we will let you know once it becomes available. Dead Trigger 2's latest major update includes plenty of new features for old fans and new players alike. The biggest addition to the game is the five new game modes. With the new game modes, you'll be able to exterminate a flock of zombie chickens, search for purple bunnies, quest for colorful balloons over the heads of hungry zombies, and more. Players will also be able to update gear and gadgets to tech a level 11 and improve the look of their hideouts. There will also be new daily missions and three new environments including a nuclear plant, abandoned factory, and zombie chicken farm. Madfinger Games wasn't done there as they've also added two new free weapons, the Chris Vector Elite and Golden Jackhammer. All of this and more is waiting for you with the latest 1.5.0 update just in time to celebrate 100 million downloads. 
Thanks for joining us today for Android Guys in Brief, tech news worth knowing. If you want to know what else we're working on, head over to AndroidGuys.com and check out all of the news and reviews that we've got waiting for you guys. We'd also like to thank our sponsor, Blue Microphone. Blue makes the most popular USB microphone around, used by podcasters, esports stars, and more. If you'd like to pick up a Blue Microphone, head over to AndroidGuys.com and click on the link for this post. We'll have a coupon code where you can save 20%. My name's Matt Adams, and I'll catch you next time.